Dear friends and viewers, you are welcome to Jonathan online class. Today, we are going to look at the physics practical experiment analysis. That is mechanics. Of course, this is usually number one practical aspect of uh, SSE exams, like the WIEC. Now, many people are confused about the combination of uh, materials as regards to the practical at hand. I mean, the task on mechanics now look at what i have on the board where i have a combination of hook's law and the simple harmonic motion in the experiment analysis looking at this diagram you see we have a helical spring that is spiral spring which we usually use for hook's law experiment which says that provided that the elastic limit of an elastic material is not exceeded such as that of the spring that the load applied or the force is directly proportional to the extension that is or in other words that the extension given to the um, elastic material is directly proportional to the what applied load or force now looking at this there's the spring then this is the rectal stand and the clamp or whatever the setup then that is really support then we have the meter rule what makes it a meter rule it is 100 centimeter that is one meter rule then you are asked to provide a spring a string that is thread of about 100 centimeter that's one meter anyways that probably might be used for attaching this helical spring to the support and also part of it for attaching it to the meter rule then we have masses sometimes like at the case with the case at hand you have a mass labeled p for instance the mass labeled p of certain gram about 100 gram could be used to stabilize the center of gravity of the metal rule for balancing being a state of equilibrium then you have the rigid support the knife edge this is the knife edge at one end of the metal rule also for rigid work support then we have the mass labeled q then attached in my own diagram here analysis the ready support here, the pivot, which is the knife edge, is positioned at 90 cm of the meter rule. That is range starting from the end. Here is the zero centimeter to here, which is what 100 centimeter. Then position at the 90 centimeter. Then, but before the procedure of the experiment, you might be required to take the meter rule with the knife edge and the uh, determine the center of gravity of the metal rule, which will place it on it. The position at which it balances horizontally gives you the center of gravity, which um, usually for a uniform metal rule is positioned at 50 cm mark. Of the one, of course, sometimes you can get with range of 48 cm to 51 cm, depending on the uniformity of your metal rule and the equilibrium state of it when you balance on the knife edge horizontally okay but not to give yourself headache you can just sit with, take 50 cm position and could proceed with your work experiment now then i position this is my center of gravity 50 cm that's where i place the mass p which is about 100 gram the level then here is my then I, I now position this q which is a mass of about 20 gram position here at 20 centimeter mark of the meter rule then I now suspend the spring at the 10 cm meter from the zero reading, from the zero point, 10 cm uh, position of the world meter rule, where I suspended the spring with one end attached to the meter rule and one end to the reading support of the world, the clamp. Good. Having it now balanced horizontally. Then, what is, it, what is the task at hand? This is novel because we have not seen this combination in most of the past work. Um, uh, questions or the SSCE experiment, but it's obtainable. That's a combination of Hooke's law and a simple harmonic motion word experiment. Though sometimes it is done with only the spring and some masses being varied, and after taking the extension, you now have to oscillate with the certain number of oscillation given, for which you will determine the time and evaluate the period of oscillation. That is the essence of that. Now, what is the aim of this experiment? The aim could be to determine the elastic constant of the material after plotting the graph you make a deduction look at it how could we do that there is a speculative table as obtainable for this analysis now let's look at this table 
table that will guide what we are analyzing. The table of observation. I have a table for table for mass in gram because there will be mass variation. I have reading for my because okay mass in gram. I have reading for my oscillation um, time a time in seconds. I also have to determine the period which is equal to t over number of oscillation the period t over number of oscillation then i also have which is also a seconds then there is need to evaluate t squared i will tell you the essence of that which is a second square like i said you might be asked to measure but because one meter rule is required, you might be asked to measure the extension in each case anywhere. If that is the case, you include extension E here. But if extension should be demanded, there is need for you to be asked to determine the original length of the helical spring, which is your L or not, as the case may be, of the helical spring. You record something, something in centimeter. Then when you have, when your extension, extension is expected, then when you add mass it will extend according to Hooke's law when it extends which means you have your e which will be equal to the new length which may be let me call the new length l minus l or not that will give you extension if this is demanded then that should come into your table but in my case i'm taking it that we are interested in the variation of the mass and the time of oscillation that is it okay so why i bring this up here because of what i mentioned here who's law so if that is the case you include it in the table you have a column for what e extension that is it okay then you you have a column for e extension if it is needed which should be equal to be equal to what l minus l naught as the case may be in centimeter if this is uh, if, if this is what needed you have it here and record as well that will attach it to a table i mean i want your space here okay quickly what is the procedure you are be asked now position this horizontally then then gently oscillate this you are given by n equals to 10 oscillations for want of time the oscillations may reduce to 10 oscillations or 20 oscillations as the case may be i'm using term for instance now you are asked to gently tap this one downward you tap this downward gently downward when you tap it downward you will notice that the spring will be oscillating will be going to and fro from center of equilibrium it will be oscillating to and fro to and fro to and fro for 10 oscillations while you use your stopwatch you use your stopwatch or stop clock Use your stop clock or stopwatch to determine your time. Your time. This is the stop stop clock or stopwatch, as the case may be, to determine the time of what oscillation. So in each case, now you for the first setup, you might be asked now to continue or repeat the experiment with different masses, as the case might be. M for M is twenty gram. I have M20 gram, which is what? Labeled maybe Q. I may have M40 gram, uh, 50 gram, uh, 60 gram, uh, 70 gram, 80 gram. Look at this. So you might have to repeat the experiment after using 20 gram. Then add 40 gram to this. Why this is constant? P. Add 40 gram to it. And of course, you know, as we are doing that, this will be a stretching extension will be stretching and you will be oscillating what do we what's observable here as you are loading this more it will take more time to complete the number of oscillation which means the more the load the greater the mass the higher the time it will take that the slower the oscillation which means slower the oscillation implies the more time it will take to complete the number of work oscillations is a simple principle that will guide your table of observation. So I have my mass 20.0 gram. I have my mass here 40.0 uh, gram. 
I have 50.0 gram. You can use two decimal places, but the minimum is three, three signal figures, one, two, three. I have 60.0 gram. I have 70.0 gram. I have 80.0 gram. This may be. Now, what I, I don't need to put certain values here so people cannot just uh, take it uh, for granted or uh, uh, multiply it like that. Okay, I just give a guiding principle. So, what I have here is from the principle, the, the, for the mass of 20 gram, it will be faster. 40 gram, it will be slower, which means it will take more time. So, the time as the mass is increasing from this uh, analysis, the time will be what? Increasing. So, here will be increasing. That's the only thing I will give you here to guide you. Yeah, increasing. Increasing value. Increasing value here, depending on what you get in your clock. Here, because in the work marking, this is the marking guide. We just it gives you the trend, the observable trend based on the principle of the experiment. What's obtainable? So that is it. There are no certain figure that is used to judge the candidates and um, results because it, it, you can't have uniform reading for experiments because you are not computer or robot. Then here is um, here here now because T is increasing. Then period capital T is the time taken for unit oscillation, which means you use calculator to evaluate this. Which means your time here, you may wish to repeat this, have T1, T2, and get the average, which is T1 plus T2 divided by 2, to get the degree of accuracy of average. It is also acceptable, but this is just one value for T. So T is T over 10, as the case may be here. If your oscillation is 20 oscillations, T over 20. So period, we also be in, uh, uh, let us look at the reasoning. If I have uh, zero, if I have 20 here, for example, 20 seconds, or let me say if I have 50, if, uh, let me say 20 seconds, or 40 seconds, as now I have 40 seconds here, here will be what? 40 over 10, which will be what? 0 0.4, for example. So here now will be what? 0 0.4 square. So what you have here square, that is period square. So now, what if I have here, like we said, here will be increasing as well. So here, as we will have 60 seconds here, here will be now the word 0 0.6. So as this place is increasing, then this place will also be what? Increasing. So we have here also increasing value. So increasing value. Because it's a function of this place, increasing value. Then for this place, the same thing applies. Because this is increasing and this depends on this, here also be what? Increasing value because the n is what? Constant. Then here also what? Increasing. Increasing value. Then, so like I analyzed, I have 40 here, here will be 0 0.4, I have 60 here because it will take more time as the load is increasing. Here will be 0 0.6. So 0 0.4 square, whatever I will get as a result, for instance, will be less than what I will get with a result of 0 0.6 square. Of course, the 0 0.4 square for instance is 0. Point, that is 4 times 4 is 16, 0 0.16. 0 0.6 square is 6 times 6, 36, 0 0.36. You see it is increasing in order. So, good. So, this will guide you. Then, what is the likely graph you are asked to plot? Every practical experiment if it determines a graph for evaluation of a constant expected. So, what is the graph here? We might be asked, remember for extension here, one may ask about the extension. For extension here, if demanded, the extension will also be what? Increasing. As you are adding more masses, the spring will be stretching more. Because you are loading the spring. It will be stretching more, therefore more extension. That is, the higher the load, the higher the extension. Provided that the elastic limit is not exceeded. That is the whose law. So here will also be what? Increasing. In case it is needed in your table, you add it. It shouldn't be separate. You add it also in the column. Maybe after the mass. Then, Looking at this, having known this, expected graph, graph of analysis. The graph expected for this experiment should be a graph of, we might ask to plot, plot a graph of, graph of T square. Plot a graph of T square, a graph of T square, uh, in second square, against M, which is the load in gram. The mass is the load here in gram. So T square against load. 
That's the graph we, are, we expect to plot. Start, remember your origin. So, because the mass is increasing and the T-square is increasing, it is a positive graph. Whenever you have two quantities in variation, in which one is increasing, the other is increasing, you have a positive relationship, positive graph. But if one is increasing, the other is decreasing, that is inverse proportionality. You have a negative graph, which will slope this way. That is it. The negative graph will slope this way, left down here, but the positive graph will slope this way, right up here. So you expect something like this. That's how the graph will go. So these uh, points of plotting, remember, your line depends on the points of best fit. It's not, it's not a mode that always enter. So do not be frustrated. I know the most is the most pass through the origin. Just pass your line wherever it passes. According to the points of where the best fit, at least three or four out of the five in towers. Okay. Then you have your slope. I take my slope. So your slope, you take your right angle triangle, which must be relatively big. Here is delta T square. And here is delta what? M. So your slope is, your slope now, your slope S is equal to delta T squared over delta M. Changing T squared by changing what? M. You evaluate your slope. What is the essence of this slope? Because recall that we have a relationship like this, that T is equal to 2 pi root M over K. So the essence of this experiment is to determine the elastic constant of the spring. So this k, when you evaluate linearly, you have that t squared when you square both sides equal to four pi squared root four pi squared. Sorry, uh, m over k. So when I plot a graph of t square against m, you see the essence of the derivation of this graph. So when I plot a graph of t square against m, my constant, which is the slope now, is my slope now is equivalent to, to 4 pi square over k. So that's my slope. So my slope stands for 4 pi square over k. That means there's likelihood of asking you to evaluate something. Maybe to evaluate the slope inverse. When you are asked to evaluate the slope inverse, that is S inverse. It just means 1 over slope. You get a certain value. That is it. So every experiment has a constant or principle of law to be verified underneath it. So be guided. I believe with this analysis and interpretation, you will be able to carry out this experiment confidently and uh, accurately. Thank you for paying attention to this class. And um, do not forget to subscribe if you have not done so. So you get notification of our uploads in phys on physics and mathematics, both practical analysis solutions, calculations, and theoretical uh, explanations. Kindly share this video to all, for others to also learn and uh, be informed. For further questions and comments and the tutorials, both online, you can reach out to me through my contact here. I remain your tutor, your tutor here, Jonu